This week we have an epic episode. It really is La Bion Rose. A brand new project at the Chateau with lots of DIY. We also travel to Paris where we go to the biggest antiques market in Europe. Will we buy something or will we come away empty handed? We also go to the most beautiful shopping street in Paris where we are jewelry shopping for our website, but also will one of us buy the jewel of a royal mistress? Back at the Chateau, it is more gardening and of course, Lots and lots of cheese, a festival of cheese, in fact. What will we have next? Welcome back, everyone. Hi. Yes, it's Sally. <laughs> no, this is not footage from the last time she visited or the other time. <laughs> she came for a long weekend all the way from New York yes. to Paris. And Simon, this weekend, is doing DIY at home. We well, we haven't shown this room to anybody yet. Um, we've been working on the other rooms actually, all our guest rooms on this floor, but this is actually the master bedroom, which is our room. And uh, it's got some nice wallpaper and everything on it, but it is a little bit, it's showing that, you know, it's a little bit worse for wear. So we're going to freshen it up and change the decor in here and give it the usual, the usual magic touch <laughs> and turn it into something a lot more special than it currently is. So, so we just, I'm just preparing the floor, ready for oh. it. So we've got these lovely herringbone uh, parquet floors down uh, and they are relatively good condition in the sense that they don't have paint or anything on them at the moment. So we're going to prepare all of this. So this is going down first, so that we can go in and out and in and out. It's not going to affect the floor. And uh, we've got a big bed in here that has to be moved at some point, but at the moment I can roll it around with the cover on it so that it doesn't get paint on it. I've been up on the ladder and, and washed all of the top of the um, uh, mouldings mm -hmm. where they go around where they go around the tops of the wall and the ceiling. So that was all dirty and dusty and everything else. So that's all been washed this morning. Well done. And cleaned up. And I've also wiped at least two or three feet down on each of the walls from the top to take off the top of the dust. And so it's getting, and I've done the skirting boards. So, uh, and I've done all the uh, masking off of all the switches and the plugs. So, so I think we're getting to where I'll be ready soon to uh, start doing the first bits of work. But there's some prep first. First of all, I have to do, the, there's a crack in the ceiling. I have to get up on the ladder and clear that out and um, fill it, put, a, put some filling in there to, mm -hmm. um, to, to clean all that out. Yeah, that just looks like a crack in the paint or in the a hairline yeah. crack in the plaster. I don't think it's structural. Oh, no, no, that's just as people have walked around on the top floor. Just... <laughs> An old house problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should go shopping more often because when I leave for just a couple of hours, I come home and look what you've yeah. done. Yeah, it's a little more than a couple of hours. <laughs> You mean I was gone shopping for more than a couple of hours? So we have a few challenges in this room. It, on the surface, you think, okay, well, the wallpaper is actually not bad. But if you come up a little bit more closely, it's actually like an early 1980s, 90s vinyl. You see here also, there are plugs that were stick out, sticking out of the walls. And here... You see the wallpaper is actually coming off in a lot of places. And so it's stuck on really well in certain places and in other places it's peeling. And also I think we wanna do a fairly dramatic change in here. The other thing that has been making me crazy is that we have an off flood colored marble fireplace, which if you look at this room is really incongruous with the pale color of the moldings and the walls. And so we're still deciding whether we're gonna keep this blue color on the moldings, because I do really like this color. And it also ties in with the master bathroom that we renovated actually last year. And we did a whole big video on that and showed it to you. So uh, it'd be nice to keep the two kind of flowing. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the cracks and little bits are just disappearing into the wall. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be uh, painted and sanded and painted, and then it should, for the most part, you know, if it works, be visible. 
but I don't know if it'll be in time. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Yeah, I mean, it'll be really beautiful. Just part of the preparation. Yeah. Well, good preparation is everything, isn't it? I do. Do you want to do a job like this? Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Just tiring on the arms. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Well done. It looks great, actually. Look, you've completely sorted out the cracks. Well, I think they're looking a lot better. You know, it's hard to, it won't be perfect, but it'll be a lot better. And from a distance, it should be okay. Uh, but it just takes a little time sanding it all down. And then I've got fine. I missed one or two cracks, so I have to go back and replaster. So I'll have to do that later, but because the, the fill is still wet. But yeah, I mean, it's just going out. We are shopping at the biggest antiques market in all of Europe, the Marché Saint-Ouen outside of Paris in Clignancourt. And we're looking for chateau inspiration, also for some jewelry because of the vintage and antique jewelry that I'm going to be featuring on my online store when it gets launched, which we're very excited about. So we're sourcing beautiful pieces and also, of course, looking around for antiques for the chateau. Yes. And without Simon here, <laughs> yeah, there's show them what's behind me. <laughs> Beautiful chandeliers. It's very sparkly. Incredible buffets. And also, no men to right. tell us that it's too expensive. Yes. <laughs> Although, we're doing a pretty good job ourselves. <laughs> Already, we're like, nope, too expensive. I nope, too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I, think we, I think today we can afford lunch. Okay. These tables are very cute. Oh, those are beautiful. Come with us while we think about buying things. These are some beautiful little inlaid rosewood chevet. And actually, Sally, you're reading my mind because we've been on a constant hunt for bedside tables, as you know, forever. Mm -hmm. And these are actually really pretty. It's good to go shopping with you. You have a good eye. Thank you. Look at all these beautiful things everywhere. I mean, how on earth do we choose between the artwork and the... These are, these are really good. They're very, they don't wobble. They're, the drawers move very, very smoothly. Are you gonna carry them back or shall I? I will gladly carry them to the chateau. <laughs> I will not take them on an airplane back to Brooklyn. <laughs> You've done that once before. I have, it did not go well. It did do, <laughs> it's beautiful in your house. <laughs> it was an entertaining story. Yes. <laughs> Actually, everybody remembers that because don't forget, I filmed it on the vlog, you packing it up and going oh home. God. Do you remember that? This is beautiful. I love this. Yeah, this is more your speed. Yes, it is actually my speed. And I do think that something like that needs to belong in my bedroom because when we get home, Simon is going to show us the project that he started and it's really exciting. Wow. <laughs> what? What do you see now? Well, you know, this is not only I think, but it's really pretty. Everything is so beautiful. I love, love, love these Parce que j'adore ça et uh, ma fille, elle, elle est harpiste et ça c'est ça c'est super, c'est super. Je vais vous montrer une harpe. Ah oui, à côté. Ah oui. Okay. I found these that I really like. Also, they're beautiful. They've got petit point, needle point. Mm. They're also uh, in the style of Louis the Fifteenth, but they are uh, Napoleon Third era, and they're four. They're beautiful. Each one has a different scene on the back. Look at her. She looks like Marie Antoinette. Yes, where, where, where she oh boy. Okay, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> I really am in love. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, I'm looking for antiques, but behind me are all historical costumes. We actually do have a couple of great events coming up. And so let's see if we can get some inspiration. Yeah. They've got children's as well. <laughs> oh yeah, she's scary. She's very scary. This is definitely where we need to come for the top hats. Well, we've seen a lot of things we like. I don't know if we've seen a lot of things we can afford. Oh, oh, we found jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Okay, these are very pretty things. Look at that amethyst set. It's magnificent. Wow, that is spectacular. This is a nice lockpick too. Oh, it is. It's hand-painted and enameled. That's beautiful. And the cameos. The cameos are exquisite. I love cameos. Okay, we've managed to spend all day here and we have not bought anything. Not one not single thing. A single thing. No. So I think we need to go back, have champagne, and But we didn't buy anything. I wonder what Simon's up to right now. I hope he's not working too hard. Simon, if you're watching, what are you up to right now? We hope you're not working too hard because we're at a beautiful Paris bistro and having a divine dinner without you. But we do miss you. <laughs> Just been working on the cracks in the ceiling. I sanded them down, put some filler into the cracks uh, to give it a nice smooth feel. And you can just see, you can see the lines actually behind me here of where the cracks are. But I've sanded all of these now so they're nice and smooth. If I show you up here, there's a lot of dust of course because uh, the filler creates a lot of dust. but. They've all been filled in here. You can see this crack here now is nice and smooth. And when that's painted, you won't see anything. All of that will have gone, but you do need to sand it once you put the filler in. Otherwise the, the, the filler creates ridges. And so that's what I've been doing this morning. Uh, it takes a couple of hours with these cracks just to get that done because it is slow. But once it's done, it'll make a big difference to the finish of the paint. And then that'll be a new ceiling. It's that time of the year, the month again. Every three months, the ponies get their uh, boots done. There's Rushton with, uh, which one is this? This is Pakarat. With Pakarat. She's the oldest donkey. And over here we have, oh no, she's not the oldest, no, she's, she's the youngest, she's, she's the daughter, she's, she's the daughter, that's right. So Pakarat's the daughter. How cute she is. Mm. 
And then over here we've got, well, we've already done one. He's out in the field. You can see him. You can see him eating over there. Uh, yeah, in the back there. That's him just in the back, the white. I don't know if I can point to him there. That's him there, right at the tip of my finger. We've already done him. And now we're here on this one. Julian the blacksmith is swearing happily away because Uragorn's being very bad, being very naughty today. And that's the little white Shetland. They're both, both our ponies are about 20 something years old, 22. How old are yours, Rushton? Uh, cans, uh, I, I collect cans and... Uh, 15 and 25, look at that. This will be it. This will be it. Oh. Uragon wants to say something to camera. What do you want to say? Hmm? What do you want to say? I'm here. I'm here. There you go. Sally and I had no luck yesterday when we went all the way to the north of Paris to the flea market looking for vintage jewelry. Yes. And everything was ridiculously expensive. And Sally is a collector. I am looking for things that are going to be featured on the upcoming online store. And so we thought, you know, if we're going to be looking at expensive items, we are going to go into Maison Delis, which is one of the most beautiful stores with the most beautiful collection of curated antique jewelry items, specifically because there is a brooch that's hand painted, a Belle Epoque brooch of Agnès Sorel. This is a one of a kind item. I am completely in love with this story. And we're gonna go inside and see if it's just as beautiful in person as it is online. You kiss me heaven sighs and all if you've been with us for a while, you know that we're fascinated by the history of France of the early 1400s surrounding Joan of Arc. We love to explore her particular story because it really is fascinating. But a big part of her story was King Charles VII. As a young girl of 16, Joan of Arc went to the young prince and convinced him to go through with becoming king, attended his coronation, and it was he who then put her in charge of his armies, thereby getting victory over the English. Now, King Charles did have a wife of his own, his queen, but he was also the first one to legitimize having a king's favorite, and his favorite was Agnès Sorel, considered to be the most beautiful woman in France. She's the first person to officially promote the idea of décolletage and was famous for always having 
one breast exposed. And in the most famous painting of her here, she's depicted as a Madonna, but everyone knew that it was Anya Sorel because of the way that she was dressed. So we're off to see this one-of-a-kind brooch. Well, the brooch was absolutely stunning, but I couldn't bring myself to buy it because I was there to shop for items to resell, and I would never have been able to part with this beautiful object. But all was not lost. Sally had made a new friend and found lots of things to uh, buy. Leon, this is typically an item. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. With the number 13. Mm-hmm, I love it. What is the significance of the 13? Just a lucky number? Good, good luck. Yeah. But in, uh, in France, it's supposed to be good luck. I, I don't think it's the same in the, in the mm -mm. US. Mm -mm. The, uh, it's the, the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of why I, I yes. loved it and thought it was so I, yes, fun. Yes, yes. So I'm about to cry, which is why I put my sunglasses back on. Because <laughs> Sally just bought me the brooch. And it is the most beautiful brooch with the most wonderful story. She does have a birthday coming up. She's going to be 29. 29 again, yes. Yes. You are the most extraordinary friend a girl could ever have. I love you madly. Our handsome chauffeur is waiting for us. Thank you, my darling. Hey, sweetheart. Good. Yeah, Sally. Sally came all this way to help look after me, and uh, <laughs> we've been feeling well enough to go out. Yeah. So we had an amazing time, and it was also really nice because I was able to get out for a bit. I was tired in the evenings, but. Yeah, you were wiped out yesterday. Was like, oh. <laughs> I was when I got home. I was wiped out. Oh, that magnolia is beautiful. Spring is finally here. I can't wait to see it. What is yeah, it? Yeah, come and see this. You don't know how long this took me. Oh, sweetheart. It is perfect. The pool is perfect. For anyone who remembers last week, the pool it was, was awful. <laughs> when we came home, we hadn't been here for a month and it was just terrible. And the plants were awful. And look, there are little orchids. They're blooming. Everything's doing really well in here. Wow. I watered all the plants. What cleaned, an accomplishment. I cleaned the cover. That took hours. Oh, what a so big all job. All I'm done for you to swim in. <laughs> I, think we, I think Sally and I might get in tonight. She's actually got to leave us tomorrow, unfortunately. But this is very tempting. Looks good. I know you've got a lot of work on, but maybe you can join us. Maybe. It's all good. It's all open. Thank you so uh, much. And, uh, you're welcome. You're very, very sweet. Oh, I'm sitting. You guys, I'm in the supermarket doing my normal shop, and believe it or not, they're having 
a festival of cheese, a fête de fromage. So I'm gonna pick out something special for Simon. All of these orange stickers means that it's all on promotion. Cheeses from all over France. I think I found the one I'm gonna get for Simon. This one is really special. So you have done a great job prepping the room, sweetheart. Now tell me what, what you're doing here. So we're going to um paint right onto the wall, onto the paper. Uh -huh. This paper is really well stuck down, so we're going to use it like a lining paper, okay? Yes. Um, and hopefully that will hold. So we're going to test the wall first. I bought some paint, you know, uh, to your instructions, <laughs> and uh, I'm just checking to see that we've got the right shade, because uh, obviously I bought something called Blanc, uh, uh, Blanc Cassé, which is, which is a broken white or an off-white. Yes. And um, it's a warm shade. At least it looked warm in the store, okay? You know, bear in mind in the store, the lights are different. They have those fluorescent mm -hmm. lights on and up here we have a chandelier. So it's going to look differently. Um, and so I wanted to get some on the wall just to check it. And I also wanted to check in doing this, how well the lining paper takes the undercoat, you know, the wallpaper takes the undercoat and the top coat. So this is our tester wall, really. So this is amazing because it's incredible just how smooth this is. And this is the color. It'll be interesting to see whether it dries cooler or warmer and lighter or darker. It should be, it should be warm, but it might be, yeah, the darker, the, sh the exact um, shade that you get mm -hmm. uh, is going to be, only going to be revealed when we see it dry, you know, because yes. then, then you'll have an idea. But, you know, in the store, as you know, anyone who's bought paint knows that, uh, it's never quite a true representation. And a lot of people may be wondering why we chose to, to paint instead of wallpaper, because a lot of chateaux do choose wallpapers, and obviously this room had already been wallpapered. What's the answer to that, sweetheart? Well, I like wallpaper, but I think that um, what we're going to do here is use fabric as the, uh, the kind of... Um, the decorative elements. So fabric fabrics really allow you to um, go ahead and uh, decorate a room and bring in all sorts of different elements. But at the same time, fabric can be removed. Okay. Yes. So once you put wallpaper on the wall, you're kind of stuck with it unless you're going to redo the job <laughs> with and, fabric. And if you're married to someone who likes to change the decor quite often, then... <laughs> I have learned over years that... You know, this is the way we like to do our decorating. <laughs> well, we this also <laughs> we also like rooms that are very gentle and calming. They either need to be rich and cozy or very light and calming. Frank, when you do this, you give yourself much more opportunity to work with pictures. Absolutely. And when you have a wallpaper on the wall, you really have to kind of blend in the pattern or whatever it is that you have on the wall exactly. to... Uh, to the frames and everything else that you're using, right? Mm -hmm. It gives you much more scope, really, yeah. to get it wrong. If you get it wrong, then you just remove it. You know, <laughs> it's very easy to do that. With well, and we do love gallery walls, and we do love art. We have a lot of art, a lot of sculpture, a lot of paintings. And, and to be honest, the art is movable, goes with yes. you. Uh, it can go from room to room if you... Um, having this ability to move things around because you're working with fabric and paints and blank walls, is much is much better. Uh, already, it's just amazing how much lighter it is. Okay, look, these are the colours. I think they go. Oh wow! What we're trying to match is this one down here in the bottom left. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's pretty close. Okay, sweetheart, 
you can come in now. Oh, that looks nice. You've been working so hard upstairs oh. with getting our lovely bedroom prepped and ready to go that I got you a very special treat at the mm. store today. Believe it or not, it was the Fair of Cheese at Leclerc at our supermarket. Oh, okay. Welcome to France where... Where they have a whole week. A yearly week of cheese. I'm just going to fork. Get dedicated to cheeses. I like that. I know that this one is one of your favorites. It's Brie Savarin. Oh, I like that, yeah. And it might be the most creamy and fruity and fresh of all the French cheeses. Really? Okay. I like it. It's very nice. That's probably why then. Okay. Now, would you like me to try it? I think that everybody, everybody would like you to try it. You've done a lovely job with the uh, decoration here. Of course. Here. Well, that's my nice. job, the decorating. Isn't that nice? Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm just wondering how creamy and sticky it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is insanely good. Oh, oh you're just going to have a forkful. Oh, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Mm. That's nice. Oh, you're happy? Mm. That'll fortify you for the rest of the DIY you have to do this weekend. Yeah, you know what this reminds me of always? What's that? Is it's like clotted cream. It is a bit, in the actually. It's of England. It is. And um, I had a lot of that growing up, and you can probably tell from looking at me, but this. <laughs> It's basically <laughs> clotted cream that that tastes like cheese. Yeah, it's got a slightly slightly more fermented flavor, but it's very much the consistency mm. of of a kind of thick clotted cream. Oh, it is totally. And it's really beautiful. So, for any of you who come to France, and if you had it with some strawberries, or strawberry jam, which of course you would with clotted cream, it's perfect. Well, I thought you might mm. enjoy having a bit with strawberries. Mmm. 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 Okay, that's enough for you back to work. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a perfect day for getting them settled into their new homes, but nothing is gonna happen before coffee. Maybe two cups. boxes almost all planted up just a few more things to get and the camellias as well as the verbena it's really pretty what do you think sweetheart oh they're great aren't they that'll look nice for another year aren't these beautiful I love camellias. Yeah. Right, might, might remember last week I was a little bit devastated because a lot of our climbing roses have been hard pruned so obviously with the standard roses, that's a great idea. But with the climbing roses, not such a good idea as it takes them years to grow to their full height and they just need a light pruning. But I think that they're gonna come back in full force. Gonna sort out these overgrown window boxes. They were totally neglected by me over winter. And uh, I do love geraniums. They're so perky. Simon and I disagree about geraniums. He doesn't like them, but I love them. So. He's just going to have to cope. And look, these roses are doing really well also. And the tulips are out. I wasn't sure if we'd have any this year because I didn't dig the bulbs up from last year. Really sweet little daffodils. I love these ones that are two-tone. More tulips ready to spring forth. And of course, as it's spring, Beautiful primroses. Ah, oh, how wonderful. I like the rosemary's blooming. It's so pretty. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Wow, we finally really have spring on its way. I know, it doesn't feel like it weather-wise, but... <laughs> it's a bit blowy, isn't it? flowers <laughs> are telling us it is. Yeah. Okay, back to work for both of us. Little, this little chateau is just perfect at yeah. the moment for us, isn't it? This is exactly what we wanted right now. It, it's, you know, giving us a lot of pleasure. And um, because, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I can't spend all my time looking after it because I've got other things to do, I've got other work and so on. Um, we went for something that doesn't need a lot of work and attention to sort of do the basics. Like the heating's working beautifully. <laughs> so we're very cozy. You're you're in a t-shirt. So, um, are you thinking a third chateau? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I never I never said. That, never uh, say never. There could be a third chateau in our future. <laughs> Listen, as you know, you and I have not uh, inherited a chateau from our family of hundreds of generations, right? We buy chateaux because we just love living in them and we think they're cool. So, um, yeah, why would, why, would you, why would you stop at one? I mean, you know, <laughs> why would you stop at one? Why, why stop, stop at one, one chateau? Oh, shit, I'm recording us. <laughs> I'm the worst vlogger in the world. We're going to go. We're going to go into. We're going to go into. We're going to go into. A, <laughs> We are gonna go into one of the ones that is the very best and most beautiful motorcycle. We're go <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go into Maison Daris, which is actually one of the thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we boom, boom, we have our boom, boom. And life will always